Hello everyone. How are you? I hope you are fine. I am teacher Shamila Nair from SK Pendidikan Has Jalan Pil Kuala Lumpur. And to sign my name SL. Before I tell you what I am going to teach today, I have two reminders. First, for those who are wearing hearing aid, please check on your aid. Is the battery good? And switch it on. Next, everyone, please get your notebook ready with you as well as your SEE or ASL book. Not forgetting your stationery. Now, I would like to do a simple finger exercise with you. Open your fingers like this and start pulling one by one. Easy, right? You can do this whenever you want to. Pupils, today we will be discussing something different. I will be teaching proverbs, similes, and idioms. Where can you see these words? Yes, mostly in your English Paper 1, Section A. You can also use them in Paper 2. But if you are unsure, then don't write. Now, here are the objectives we shall achieve together by end of the lesson. The first one is you should be able to sign the proverbs, similes and idioms shown. And the second one is you should be able to choose the correct proverbs, similes, and idioms. All right, ready? Yes, we are. So, who can tell what is the meaning and the difference of proverb, similes, and idiom? Let me tell you. Proverb is a phrase we use to give advice. Similes are like comparison, but it has words like as or then. Idioms are something that doesn't make sense. How is that? I know you are confused now. We shall see the examples in a while. Now, let's see some examples. Proverb is used to give advice, right? So, here are some examples. 
these are all proverbs we use to give advice now see the example for similes you see the words as and like are used here now we move on to idioms if you see the phrases there it sounds funny right how can we beat the bush and also the third one there hang in there can you hang yourself anywhere no right but there is a phrase like that and it has meaning too we shall see the meaning one by one later so i think you have a picture of the difference between these three yes you do awesome for those who are still not clear it's okay we shall discuss more examples let's start with proverbs pupils i hope you will take note on the lesson because later i have some questions for you and you must answer i will explain some of the meaning and then we shall see the questions ready let's do it the first proverb is first come first served maybe some of you can understand from the phrase itself this means who comes first they will get the thing first easy right where can we see this in a fast food restaurant in a clinic when we take our number right that is where we can use this proverb The next proverb is a piece of cake. What does that mean? Eating a piece of cake? No, it is not. This means it is easy. The example is here. We read the exam was a piece of cake for me now i am sure you will understand the next proverb is no pain no gain this means we must work hard to achieve success for example to get an A for your exams what can you do you should study more hard work also to build muscles can we just sit at home and be lazy no can't right we must do exercise which 
may cause pain, but after some time, we will have a good physique. So, these are examples of no pain, no gain. And the last proverb for today is time is money. From the sentence, we can guess that time is same with money. How? Means we must use time wisely. Will you waste money? No, right? So, same. Time is as important as money. Now, we shall discuss some similes. What words will be in similes? Yes, correct. As, like, or them. Let's see the examples here. The first one. As light as a feather. From the phrase, we can guess the meaning. It refers to something that is very light, not heavy. You got it? Good. The second simile is as cold as ice. I am sure you will know the meaning of this simile. Yes, it means very cold. Can you see the man is very cold here? The third simile is as black as coal. Do you know what is a coal? It is used to make fire. It is usually used for barbecue also. The color of the coal is black. So the simile is as black as coal. The fourth simile is fits like a glove. Pupils, you also know what is a glove, right? Yes, we use glove a lot these days. So, when we use the gloves, it is tight and fits our fingers. Well, right? So, that is why this simile says, fits like a glove. And the last simile is this. You see the picture and guess. Anyone else? I'm waiting for an answer. Yes, you got it. It is like watching grass grow. What does that mean? Okay. Can you see the girl's face here? How is it? Happy? Sad? Aha! She is bored. This means like watching grass grow is used when we feel bored. I shall give you an example on how to use this simile. Watching the movie is like watching grass grow. Simple. Now we are in the third part, the 
idioms. Before I start, can you give me an idiom? But don't use the one I showed you earlier. No. Think by yourself. All right. Good try, kids. The first one. Break a leg. Does this mean you have to break someone's leg? No. No. Please don't break someone's leg. It has different meaning. It means good luck. Yes, good luck. Ha. That doesn't make sense, right? But that is how idiom works. Good luck is something we tell to people for them to win or succeed. The second one is call it a day. Yes, this doesn't mean that you need to call someone. No, no. It means stop working. Yes, stop, stop. And the third idiom is hit the sack. Right? Again, please don't hit the sack like this. This means sleep. Yes, sleep. And the fourth idiom is miss the boat. Here, maybe you can relate. It means we are late for something. Maybe we woke up late. Then we missed the school bus. So, we can say, missed the boat. We are at the last idiom for today. Under the weather. Think, how can we be under the weather? We can't, right? So, what's the meaning? Think. Yes, it means sick. We can say, I am feeling under the weather today. So, pupils, I have discussed some of the commonly used proverbs, similes, and idioms in UPSR. So now it's time for you to answer my questions. Shall we start? Here we go. Read the sentence and I will guide you how to find the answer. Let's do question number one together. This is a question from UPSR 2018. Read it. Choose the most suitable idiom to complete the sentence. I read. After recovering from his illness, Ali and learned to appreciate others. All right. How to choose the answer? 
You see, the word illness, it means sick. Which maybe I can say bad, right? And the word learn means he learned from bad to what? Yeah, good. Bad to good. So, we know he has learned something new. So, see if any of the answer has any word about new. Yes, I found. Did you? Yes, it is. The answer is D. Because there is a word new there. Done. The second question is from UPSR 2017. It says you must choose the most suitable simile to complete the sentence. I read Puan Hasna never scolds or shouts at her pupils. She is You see the keywords are never scolds or shouts. This means she is very patient. What else? Or maybe a cool teacher. Cool. So now, is there any of those words in the answers? Yes, it is. The answer is C. As cool as a cucumber. Now, you are going to answer the questions by yourself. Okay? I will guide after getting your answers. Read this first. The key word here is fighting. Can you just guess which option shows about fighting? Can rain and fire fight? No. Can door and window fight? Definitely no, right? Now, we have two options here. Cats and dogs or lion and tiger. Which animal do you think will fight? Yes, cats and dogs. So the answer is C. And the last question. Read first. Here, the keyword is hook up late. So which one is suitable? Yes, it is A. Missed the boat. Congratulations to all those who could answer the question correctly. For those who couldn't, no worries. Practice makes perfect. Okay, pupils, we are at the end of the lesson. I hope today's lesson helped you in understanding the proverbs, similes, and yeah, idioms. So, till we meet again, stay safe and take care. Bye!